Hi and welcome back to our YouTube channel where we share devotional messages and inspirational message. And for today, I'll be reading from the book of Judges chapter 7. During that night, the Lord said to Gideon, Get up, go down against the camp because I'm going to give it into your hands. If you're afraid to attack, go down to the camp with your servant Hura and listen to what they're saying. Afterward, you will be encouraged to attack the camp. So he and Pura, his servant, went down to the outpost of the camp. The Midianite, the Amalekites, and all other eastern people had settled in the valley thick as locusts. Their camels could no more be counted than the sand of the, on the seashore. Gideon arrived just a man was telling a friend his dream. I had a dream, he was saying. A round of loaf of barley bread came tumbling into the Midianite camp. It struck the tent with such force that the tent overturned and collapsed. His friend responded, This can be nothing other than the sword of Gideon, son of Joash, the Israelite. God has given the Midianite and the whole camp into his hands. When Gideon heard the dream and its interpretation, he bowed down and worshipped. He turned to the camp of Israel and called out, Get up, the Lord has given the Midianite into your hands. In this story, we witness how God helped Gideon build his confidence. God knew that Gideon was reluctant and has doubt whether his 300 men can defeat the armies of Midianites and Amalekites and other armies. So in the verses that we have read, it says that they were thick as locusts and their camels could no more be counted than the sand on the seashore. So that's how much or how many the Gideonites enemies were. And Gideon only has 300 men with him carrying trumpets and torches. Sometimes we often face heartache, intimidation, and a mountain of obstacle. But I assure you, as a children of God, we were never beyond the reach of our Lord's mercy, grace, protection, and encouragement. Gideon was so anxious taking 300 men into battle, and God knew what Gideon felt in his heart. So God told Gideon, go down to the army's camp and told him to listen to what the enemies are saying. So Gideon heard that their enemies were afraid of God's armies and Gideon. So after Gideon heard that, or after Gideon uh, hearing what the enemies were saying, he, his hope uh, increased and was encouraged to fight. So in other words, God assured Gideon that the Lord was, is working during his daunting situation and would give him the victory. So God uses the situation, God uses our situation to st strengthen our confidence in Him and that's why it is very, very important to always to hear and hear the word of the Lord. So faith, it says faith comes from hearing and hearing you know, the word of God because it gives us confidence knowing that God is in control and He will uh, give us the victory. So especially in this situation, if you want to have confidence, make sure that you are within the right circle of people, people who will encourage you, people that who will give you confidence, people that will give you hope. Because God uses people to encourage us. God uses the situation to encourage us. God uses our environment or our surrounding to encourage us. So in that way, we will increase our hope, we will increase our faith, and we will continue to move on no matter how big the obstacles are. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope uh, you like the message. And if you like the message, please uh, share and like the video. And if you like, you can subscribe. So the next, the next time I upload a video, you will be notified. Thank you so much and God bless us all.